hear about a super exciting game? A game from only four students at a Swedish technology institute I've never heard of? A game almost completely black and white with no other graphics? Grab the kids, we're hitting the interwebs! Yeah, I can see how people would be skeptical about this one, but if you don't play this creative, innovative puzzle platformer, then you're really missing out on one of Sweden's best imports. Continuity is made by four students at the Kalmers University of Technology in Gutenberg, Sweden. You know those crazy annoying block puzzles and bonus games where you have to slide and match all the little pieces together and make a picture appear? Yeah, I pretty much hated them too. But get this, this little homework assignment is that concept, but instead of the blocks being pieces of the picture, they're pieces of the level. You can move the different pieces of the puzzle that match the path that you want to take. The goal is to navigate the pieces of the puzzle so you can take a red key to open the red door getting to the next level. Ah, but like any puzzle, it's picky when it comes to how the pieces fit together. The piece you're getting to has to be an exact pictorial match to the piece you're on now. If they don't, you're either running into a brick wall or you're sent into oblivion. But only to go back where you started or where you got your last key. The real trick and challenge of the game is being able to figure out how to best connect the path together and to plan out how to get from the start to the key to the door before being stuck in a maze. Could you imagine if something like this were in real life? It could be a brand new mode of transportation that would be able to send anything anywhere and completely revolutionize the world. Or, you know, I could just be the world's laziest man ever. I mean, who wants to go up from your desk and get food all day when you could just sit around and multitask? Uh, yeah. But seriously, if you want to play this game, I'm just going to give you this little word of caution right now. From the first five minutes of the game, you're just going to be completely gone and cut off from the rest of the world. I mean, this thing sucks you in like a black hole. The music and aesthetic are incredibly immersive, and I really found myself focusing on what I was doing. It can be a pretty challenging game, too, sometimes. Okay, what if I move this piece over here, and then, and then I'll move it here, and then maybe, maybe I could go through there, and um, maybe... Sometimes you just overthink the whole thing, and you're trying to figure it out, and... Oh. Oh, clever students. The big rule of continuity is simplicity is complexity. With a lot of them, you really don't have to overthink them at all, and the solution is just right there in front of you. And when you do finally solve it, it's a really satisfying feeling. Kind of like you solved a really hard puzzle in Professor Layton without using any cheats. Look at how smart I am. Aw, uh, yeah. You know, looking back, it's kind of amazing if you think about it. A game by four students who are just starting out making games have made something more innovative and interesting than a lot of the mainstream stuff out there. I can't really say I've played a platformer like this, and it's really refreshing to play something new that really shines. Now for this game, I do have to pull out my trusty freebie sign. But you might have noticed the shiny yellow donate button at the bottom of the page. Well, how about that? A lot of the games I've done for this show have a tip jar too. Hey, why not throw down a few bucks for them? If you enjoyed it, it's your way to support them to make more games. I'd love to see more games like this out in the market, and hopefully this is the start of a really great lineup of games from these students. But for right now, let's enjoy their innovations. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh.